This is the second of, of two lectures on the complications of diode laser cycle ablation. And once again, I'm going to really share my experience over the last 20 years of trying to prevent complications in diode laser cycle ablation. And I think you can make it a very safe procedure, despite the, the large number of complications that have been described. And there are certain key principles that I would say you need to do if you want to prevent complications. The first is that you need to develop a standardized treatment protocol for the type of eyes and the type of patients that you're serving. So you'll need to have some aggressive protocols for very aggressive disease, and you're going to have to have some fractionated, very gentle protocols for other types of eye. And when I have the fellows or tra training the juniors, the first thing I insist on is that they understand the machine and the G probe. So they must be able to uh, connect all the various uh, connections to the diode laser machine and set it up properly. And secondly, they must understand how the G-probe is uh, constructed. So, for example, you can very easily uh, take the heel of the probe off and examine the, the tip of the probe. And it's very important to be able to do this in some cases because the actual uh, the bulbous end of the G-probe can get fractured off or damaged, and that can cut the conjunctiva and cause hemorrhage. The juniors have to have a standard setup checklist, and all of our diodes are continuously audited, particularly for hypotony rates and the number of retreatment uh, cases. And the reason for this is that there have been several reported instances in the world literature where diode laser machines have been incorrectly calibrated. So if you have a bad run of two consecutive cases that go hypotenuse on your standard treatment protocol, and there's no obvious reason for that, you could have a calibration issue. We also have a, a continuous tabletop type meeting, analysing our serious complications, and we make sure that all people using the laser are well-educated and certainly supervised for their first uh, initial cases. As part of this checklist, examining the probe is the key. Check the probe for damage. So that means that, as you can see, you can see the fibre optic cable running down the centre of the image on the right hand side and the most important thing is that at the tip it should be a smoothly rounded tip not sharp or fractured if you enjoyed this lecture so far please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash iop dot vision i hope you enjoyed this series as much as we have putting it together thank you